court is sharing data on the number of arrests made by police last year with more than a 60% increase in arrests compared to the previous year 2022. They're linking the increase to more uniformed officers riding trains with passengers. But as ABC 7 News reporter Lena Howland found out, despite those arrests, crime numbers are still on the rise. Just about a year ago, BART police made a major change to their policing strategy, shifting more of their uniformed officers to patrolling on trains rather than cars. So I've been with the department for approximately 17 years, and this is the largest uh, deployment change we, I've ever seen in my policing career with the BART police department, but it is the singular most uh, important change we've made. Uh, to address the concerns of our passengers and our employees. With BART ridership still down compared to pre-pandemic levels, a survey done by the Bay Area Council last May found 45% of people are choosing not to ride BART because they don't think it's safe. I usually drive because honestly I don't feel Sometimes I don't feel safe in BART. But with the BART Police Department's new strategy, Deputy Chief Christopher Vogan says arrests are up by more than 62% compared to last year. He says part of what's worked has been shortening train cars. We have more officers patrolling those trains, so they're not having to walk through empty train cars. They're getting through cars where people are pointing out problems and they're addressing them. Still, BART Board Director of District 1, Deborah Allen, says these numbers don't tell the full story. What you get is the crime is going up still. According to last year's Chief of Police report, violent crime was up by 13 percent, and property crime, including burglary, larceny, and auto theft, was up by 59 percent. We certainly don't agree with sending the message to writers that, hey, everything's okay now, go take a nap on the train. No, you shouldn't do that. You still have to be really, really aware of the people around you. I haven't noticed more officers. I've noticed more like BART ambassadors on the platforms and on the trains, but not uniformed officers. Although some writers say things are still better than they were before the pandemic. I'd say I feel safer. I think it's just a product of there being fewer people around, so it's there's less to keep track of. In Arinda, Lena Howland, ABC 7 News.